All right, so in this interior real estate photography tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can expose the room and pull off an image using one photo, okay? So here is our image. This is the one straight out of camera. I'm gonna reset it, everything is lined up. Now, how you can pull this off is by making sure that you don't clip your windows. So if you look over here on my histogram, I am actually well below clipping the peak of my highlights is actually way down here so that's gonna allow me if I take these highlights and drop them down look at that I can get a nice window pull so um, the other thing you're gonna want to make sure of is that you have all your lights off now this is the and the other thing too is you want to make sure that you do actually have enough daylight but not too much daylight so if this is super harsh sun coming into a window you're probably not going to be able to pull this off but we do actually um, benefit from the fact that we have a bunch of trees here so whenever there's like greenery or anything besides like water or the harsh sun or the sky showing through the window you're going to be able to pull this off with one image most of the time so and also to let the realtor know about this and discuss that with them you know to make sure that they're okay with you doing this style so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my ambient single image bump right there and that is getting us really close I would probably be very close to being done with this I can push this um, exposure up a little bit and look at how much nicer and brighter that is. Now, here's the thing. I set my white balance here to as shot, and that's why I stress putting your camera on auto white balance and keeping the lights off. That is going to make it a lot easier for the camera to balance the white balance if there's not, you know, if the camera doesn't have to decide between tungsten and daylight Kelvin temperatures, okay? It's gonna make the, um, the whole image just give you correct color because not only are you lighting it from this big picture window, but the other thing that I did is, let me reset this and see if you can tell. I actually did set a flash off just behind me pointing backwards um, as far as I could away from the camera and blasted flash. Not a ton of flash, maybe about an eighth um, or a quarter power. I didn't want to overdo it. And again, I knew I could pull those shadows up and get a nice looking image. So again, this is where I talk about in other tutorials um, by creating presets. So if you get in the rhythm of this, look at this, I just hit that preset, boom, lift that exposure just a little bit, hit my flag, um, tool you know there to flag that and I'm moving on to the next image so it's that quick but again make sure that you don't have a ton of harsh sun coming in and you keep the lights off run your camera on auto white balance and pop that flash if the room just needs a little bit of extra fill light and do not clip those highlights and you can bring them back in post so I hope this helps some of you we'll see you in the next tutorial guys bye bye